Start the job by removing the black cable from the negative battery terminal. Remove the throttle and cruise control cable cover using an 8mm socket. Remove the three 8mm bolts that hold the throttle cable assembly to the plastic intake manifold. Remove the breather hose from the main intake hose, moving the plastic tab connection as shown. Next, loosen the two hose clamps on both sides of the main intake hose. Now would be a great time to blow out all dirt and debris from the engine compartment so it does not fall into the intake during cover removal. Next, remove the cable for the mass flow air sensor. Lift the tab and please gently lift on the plastic connector, making sure not to break it. Push on the plastic fastener affixed to the intake box to completely remove the cable for the mass airflow sensor. Loosen the clips for the air filter holder and remove it from the main intake hose. Depress the tabs on the throttle position sensor cable and gently remove it from the throttle body. Push on the clip holding the cruise control cable in place away from the opening on the clip to remove. Push on the throttle cable horizontally along the slotted area to allow it to be removed. Lay the throttle and cruise control cables out of the way. To the rear left of the intake manifold, carefully remove the wiring harness. Now we can remove the intake manifold temperature sensor cable. Depress the tab and carefully remove. Carefully remove this plastic push connector lifting evenly on all sides. Use a 10 mm socket to remove the four bolts attaching the throttle body to the intake manifold. Again, push on all sides of this plastic fastener to remove the throttle position sensor cable. Here is the fourth and last bolt holding the throttle body to the intake manifold. Place a towel in the intake ports to prevent debris from entering. Now we are going to remove the EGR valve assembly shown here. Two 10mm bolts hold this in place and will need removed. We need to remove three vacuum hoses at the rear of the manifold. One is held on with a clip that can be removed with a pair of pliers. The other has an elbow connection with a plastic tab that must be moved before sliding off. The last vacuum hose simply removes by pulling on it. Remove the EGR vacuum modulator and sensor cable that is attached to the intake manifold with two 8mm bolts.
Loosen the 8 bolts holding the intake manifold in place using an 8mm socket. Evenly lift the intake manifold up and block the intake ports with towels. Now is a great time to replace the intake manifold gaskets. Simply pull off the old and install the new gaskets. Fill these ports with towels also to be safe while we finish the job. Blow away any remaining debris that was held in place by the intake manifold. Depress the tabs on the connectors above the ignition coils and pull to remove them. Use an 8mm socket to remove the bolt holding the ignition coil in place. Pull the ignition coils out to remove them. Use a 10 inch extended 5 8 inch magnetic articulating socket to remove the spark plugs. Perform the same process for the ignition coils to the rear of the engine compartment. Before installing your new spark plugs, apply some anti-seize lubricant to the threads of the spark plugs. Be sure to keep the lubricant only on the threads and nowhere else. Next, we will want to apply some dielectric grease to the top of each one of the spark plugs and to the boot of the ignition coil to prevent corrosion. When installing the new spark plugs, please insert these and hand tighten before applying final installation torque. This will avoid cross-threading the spark plug. Insert the new ignition coils and simply press down on them to install. Reinsert the bolts and hand tighten first. Then use an 8mm socket to finalize torque. Reattach the connections to the top of the ignition coils. Perform the same process on the rear ignition coils. Now would be a great time to remove any oil and grime located around the ports of the intake. Please be sure not to push this grime into the ports. Remove all towels lodged in the intake ports of the engine and the intake manifold. Evenly install the manifold back into place, hand tightening the 8mm bolts at first and then using a socket to finish. Please be careful when tightening. You don't want to add at least $150 to the project by cracking the intake manifold or worse, snapping a bolt.
Reattach the EGR vacuum modulator assembly with 8mm bolts and socket, also the sensor connection if you removed that. Reattach the EGR valve assembly using 10mm bolts and socket. Reattach the throttle body using 10mm bolts and socket, then reattach the throttle position sensor cable. Reattach the three manifold vacuum tubes at the rear of the intake manifold. Reattach the wiring harness to the intake manifold at the left rear of the engine compartment. Remove the towel in the intake manifold and reinstall the main air intake hose at the throttle body. Push the air filter cover back into place and clamp it down. Position the main intake hose over the rear of the air filter cover. Reattach the master airflow sensor cable and push the plastic fastener back into place over the air filter cover. Tighten both hose clamps on the main air intake hose. Reattach the breather hose to the main air intake hose. Reattach the three 8mm bolts that hold the throttle and cruise control cables in place on the intake manifold. Reattach the throttle cable and the cruise control cable. Reattach the cover for the throttle cables to the intake manifold. Place your black battery cable back into place on the negative battery terminal with an 8mm socket. Well, that's the end of this video. I hope it helped you clear any error codes or restore some general performance back to your aging vehicle. Thanks so much. See you in the next one.